Hey guys, I'm glad you're here today. Hey, I just want to quickly talk to you about how you can easily uh, straighten your images uh, in Lightroom with one click. If if you're like me, um, you tend to shoot a little crooked. Um, I'm more focused on the subject, on the expression, on the um, capturing emotion more so than I am to kind of get that picture to be exactly straight with the lines that you see in the image. Uh, I'm definitely not a tripod shooter. That tends to slow me down, tends to make my work more stiff and less kind of engaging. And so um, if you're like me, what tends to happen is you get back and you have a lot of images that are just a little bit crooked in any which way. And um, I find that a lot of my images are that way. And if if I go ahead and straighten each one with the crop tool, it can take uh, a good amount of time, a fair amount of time when I'm doing it, you know, on almost every image in the shoot. Um, but what there is in Lightroom is the transform panel. And if you're using an older version of Lightroom, um, it is under the lens correction panel, not the transform panel. But uh, here, let's just go into Lightroom real quick. Here I've got uh, a lot of images that are crooked to a little bit, to a certain extent. And, and you can see that it just kind of bothers the eye. Now there might be one or two down here, maybe this one here that I want to have crooked. Um, but for the most part, these are just a little bit crooked and it's my fault. Um, I should have lifted my camera um, just a little bit, an angle, a little better angle uh, to fix that. So if we go into the develop module, oops, I don't want to go to him. Let's go, let's go to the first image. So let's go to this image right here. And if we go into the develop module, I've already got the transform panel open. This is where you'll find it. Like I said, if you do not have a transform panel, it will be in the lens correction panel. Uh, that means you're just using an older version of Lightroom. But if I come over here, you have these um, you have these transform buttons up top here. And these are what I'm talking about. If you click these, these will help straighten your image based on what Lightroom sees as the strong lines in the image. Now, if your image, let's say it's uh, outside and it's in nature and there's just trees and, and, you know, they don't grow straight. They grow a little bit of an angle. These buttons aren't going to work. So these are, these are going to work in places where there's architecture or strong lines. A strong horizon line would work. Um, and that's why I've selected these images in Lightroom that I've picked. But if you come here into the transform panel on this first image and you hit the level button, you'll see that it straightens my image. So I'll undo that and then I'll redo that. You can just hit off and level and you'll see how quickly it straightens that image. Now I have three images from this session right here and they are all crooked in a little bit different of a way. So if I select them and sync, and let's say I go into my transform here, and I have all three of these selected, if I hit synchronize, what it's going to do is it's going to take that mm, amount of straightening, and it's going to add it to these images. And that's not what we want, because obviously those haven't been straightened correctly. So if I undo that, if we go into sync settings, you'll see three options. You have upright mode, upright transforms, and then transform adjustments. Okay, so the first one, let me let me go back into my develop module. The first one, upright mode, will be whatever is these buttons. Okay, so so if I have this one checked, it is going to send whatever these buttons are picked across the other images. This upright transforms, if that one's checked, it's going to send everything that has been currently transformed onto your other images. So I do not want that one checked. And if you'll notice, the upright mode comes ungrayed when I deselect this button right here. So what that means is now Lightroom on these other two images from the same session is going to evaluate each image on its own and apply the level transform that I have selected here. The last one, the transform adjustments. Now that are that are that's these sliders, and that's also this constrained crop down here. So if I was to have that on, whatever adjustments I've made here, and if I have the constrained crop checked, which I'll talk about in just a second, it will send that across those images as well. So I'm going to uncheck that in the first one. So the only thing that's going to come across 
is this level button of the upright mode being selected, which means these other three images will be evaluated on what, um, what their crookedness is. So let me go first off into the library module so we can see it happen. And let me sync the upright mode from this image to these images. And watch this line right here, especially on this one. Watch how it straightens based on what it needs, not on what this not on how this one was straightened. Okay, do you see that? So now that image is completely straightened. And I, I didn't have to go in and crop it. Uh, in fact, all three of these images were shot in the same um, place. So, so I could honestly take these two images, I could reset them completely, okay? So they're back to, to um, how they were raw. I could come in here and check all, but if you'll remember, I've got to turn these off, okay? And now you'll see that not only does it synchronize the, um, the contrast, the exposure, everything that I've done on this image, it also is synchronizing the straightening of the image. So those three images to work on took me as much time as it took me to edit this one image. And if I've got 15 in the same spot, that just saved me a ton of time not having to come in and straighten each one of these images independently. So let's move down a little bit and let's look at some other ones. Um, let's look at this senior right here. We've got all of these images that are crooked. Now some of these, um, you know, I might I might like to leave crooked, so you don't have to do it all the time. But, uh, but if I, let's just do it really quick. I'll go in the develop module here. I'm going to straighten this one by hitting the level transform button. That one is now fixed and straightened. And if I come back into the uh, library mode so you can see what's happening, I'll select all of these. Sync settings. I'll make sure the upright mode is just selected. And then I'll synchronize that across all of these images. Okay, so let's go into them. So that one is straightened. Now this one didn't straighten properly. So if let's go, we, we go in the develop module. Sometimes Lightroom can get it wrong. And you'll notice that there's an update button here. If I click that, it will fix how it got it wrong. Let's go to the next one. That one looks fine. Let's go to this one. That one looks pretty good as well. And let's finish with this one. So by a few clicks of the mouse, a few button clicks, I was able to straighten all of these images, okay? Same thing, same thing down through here. We can even move through different sessions. So if I come here and straighten this image, okay? So I can now sync that across images even from other sessions, upright mode and it will straighten these images as well. Okay, so all of those were straightened. Now there's something called in the transform, there's something called the guided um, transform. And here's where you draw lines on the image to get um, the straightening that you want. Now you'll notice on this one that I have um, a lot of bit, a lot of lines going a lot of different directions, and so you get a total of four lines that you can straighten. So if I choose this one, I can straighten that one. I can straighten this one. I'll choose two horizontals. Okay, it's starting to work. And then let's maybe go to this one here. And then let's maybe go to this one here. So there we go. So I've used I've used the guided transform now to straighten this image. You cannot sync the guided transform across because all it will do uh, is it will um, sync this same transformation to the other images, which isn't going to work. I'm just showing you really quick how to use the guided. Well, last thing I want to show you is the transform adjustments with the constrained crop. So let me come, let me come to this uh, this girl here. So let's straighten this image. So I'll click on level. Okay, that one is correct. And I'm going to sync it across all of these images. In fact, let, so let me go to the library module so you can see this, how it happens. Okay. So if I sync across all of these images, you'll see that some don't get adjusted correctly. Okay. So take a look at this one. You'll notice that it fixed it with these lines but it left this white kind of border around, okay? And, and that is where the constrained crop comes into play. So if I had that clicked, it would automatically remove 
those white borders for me. But the problem with that, I, I'll go into the crop tool, is you'll notice how high up her leg it has cropped. So it may not be exactly what you want. Whereas if I bring this in just a little bit, I can drop this down and get some of her foot back. But you can see I shot it in a way that I'm going to lose some of her foot anyway. So maybe leaving it at a bit of an angle is the better thing, is the better way to do this. But the key to that, see, you'll see all of these have that white kind of border around them. Let me go into the library module so you can see it better. So what I can do is if I sync my settings and I include the trans... Oh, I don't think I have it turned on. Hold on. Oh, I do. Okay. So the constrained crop is turned on. If I go into the library module and I sync settings and I click on transform adjustments, you'll see all of these white areas disappear. And that is because now I am syncing across this constrained crop. Okay. Now this one didn't get it right. And remember, if it doesn't get it right, you hit the update button and then it should. It should snap it back to where it will be. These ones are not cropping 100% correctly because I've, um, in, pre in preparation for this video, I, um, I was kind of making sure that the level worked properly. And so what it's doing is it's defaulting to one of the ones that I had before. But on yours, it should get it right most of the time. If it doesn't, hit that update button and that should fix it. So there you go. I use this all the time. So when I sync settings from another image to um, sync settings from one image to another, I will have this turned on and these turned off unless I want that constrained crop left on and then I leave that one on right there. So hopefully this will speed you up as you edit. Hopefully it's a tip that can uh, benefit you and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks.